Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 22. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so next up what we're going to do is we are doing the 80s Heroes series. Now obviously these are bikes from the 80s, or racing modifiers. So uh, let's go take a look. Uh, obviously we have um, different sort mechanisms in this. So you can sort bikes in different ways. Uh, obviously, we got the number one on this Yamaha, which is epic. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to sort by power to weight ratio. Obviously, the smaller the number, the more power there is to the amount of weight. But also, we're going to sort by year. And anything in the... Um, that has an R, that is also from the 80s onwards, that has a low power to weight ratio will be decent. So, for example, that one, that's a 1.4 power to weight ratio. The Honda NSR 400. NS400R, sorry. We got the Suzuki Gamma, which is also another one. What's this power look like? That is, total weight is 146, with total horsepower being 103. Hmm, that's a fairly decent bike. I think we'll go for that one. That might be a good choice. The RG500 Gamma Racing Modify. I would presume this would be allowed. And it is not. So it is literally only these bikes. We did say the uh, Honda 400R. The uh, VFR 400R, didn't we? So let's go take a look at that then. Made a massive mistake there. Massive mistake. Why can we not take the Suzuki though? That's just not fair. Uh, power to weight ratio. Let's go back to here. It was an 89 bike, wasn't it? 2.1. Yeah, we'll go for that. We'll go for that one. Yeah, I think we'll go for this one then. I think this one's allowed. We'll see it on the menu. Should have a number 9 lit up. It does. So we can use it for the number 9 event. The number 9. The 80s championship. I can't speak. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. We're starting out at Grand Valley Speedway. The full track. Moving on to Midfield Raceway and then Trial Mountain. Let's do this. Right, so we are here at Grand Valley Speedway with the two Hondas and the two Yamahas. Let's go. We are the only one with a 400cc bike. So uh, we should have a huge amount of extra power compared to the rest of the pack. And if we don't win, I'll be very surprised. Awesome. I'm obviously aiming to finish this before uh, start of September. So that gives me about a week to finish it. I have a feeling I'm not going to. Because I've got like quite a strict deadline at that point. It would be nice to finish it. But uh, I highly doubt we will. You're very nice though, there. Go around this corner. Perfect. Awesome. Very nice. I do wish that there was another route that would like cut out this section. So you would go through the two hairpins, but you would also just go straight to the finish from that point like that would be a good route because then it would sort of build up a little bit more distance and make the race a tiny bit longer obviously this race is going to take over 10 minutes probably 
because it is five laps around Grand Valley. What else do you expect? Awesome. Nice, nice. That is perfect. Again, I'm looking forward to big time to start in. Um, Forza Motorsport going from the start to the finish. We're definitely going to do Forza Motorsport 1 through to 4. Whether we're going to do um, the Horizons and 5, 6, 7 and the new one. Maybe a different story. But I know definitely the first few motorsports and that, the first four, would definitely take me at least two years to finish. So it would be a massive project for us and an awesome project to do. Let's go. Awesome. Oh, I've definitely missed my breaking point there. Wow. Okay. Interesting. To be honest, there's a part of me that wishes I actually got time to finish Gran Turismo 5. But it was just too much grinding. And I had obviously played it in a very weird way. That meant I didn't go the correct way. Definitely. And also, my Gran Turismo 5 is corrupted in some way that the Ferrari California would crash the game. It was a very weird thing. I don't know whether it was a bug with the game that got fixed later on that I just couldn't update the game. But I can't update games on my PS3. My PS3 is just like, nope. No updates for you today. Which is why I sort of love Gran Turismo 4 so much. Because there isn't as many problems with these older games. Because, well, you don't really find them. I haven't had a single bug or anything like that. But then I'm not really a bug hunter. I don't look for bugs in games. Oh, that was horrific. That was a horrific crash. Nice. Oh, look at that flowing through the corner there. And then that corner just ruined it. I got num uh, championship number nine, championship ten to do today, and then that will be me done. Five videos, very nice. Awesome. This bike is amazing. We're getting towards the same amount of time as every race in the last series, uh, in the last episode. Yeah, which we, you can clearly tell these races are quite long. At least there's only three of them and not five in the championship. Oh, there we go. Nice. Come 
Come on, nice, nice. Let's get around this corner, please. Perfect. Nice. And off we go. Getting a nice exit out of that hairpin there. <coughs> That's always a very tight corner to take. Oh, come on. Let's go. Nice. The tyres are looking a little bit yellow means that there is uh, a significant amount of wear beginning to show. Once it, and even the real one looks a little bit darker, starting to turn orange. So we're going to start maybe suffering. Uh, this is going to be the first time we suffer, in quotation marks, from uh, sort of tyre wear and that. But hopefully it's not going to be too much of a problem for the final lap. Maybe towards the end of the next lap, we'll start seeing like an orange color on that, on the wear. But so far, it we're still gripping. We're still taking corners like corners should be taken. Is that a weird noise that the tires are making? There was definitely a weird noise that the tyres just made there. Awesome. Oh! Okay. That was close. Big time. Oh! I don't think I could take that corner as quick. That was a perfect hairpin. Little bit wide on the exit. But other than that, we got a perfect breaking point there. Which is surprising. Maybe tire wear isn't a thing or as extreme in this game. I don't know. Come on, let's go. Nice. Do you know the interesting thing as well about uh, recording this? Because it's recording in 576 interlaced 50 FPS, right? The uh, capture card, first of all, I don't know why it does this, but it cannot read the 50 frames. It only reads every other one. So, big rip there. But um, also... A massive problem, or not a problem, but a massive upside because of it being this size. An entire four hour recording session will probably only take about four gigabytes out of the uh, 128 that I have. Recording Yakuza for that long would take up 35 40. So, yeah, it's pretty cool being able to just sit here and not have to worry about me filling up my storage. There we go, 2 minutes 12 for that final lap. That was a good final lap for Nakin Tires. 11 minutes. Crap. That took forever. That was insanely long. In a 67 brake horsepower bike. I, I would like to ride a faster bike at some point game. Please let me do that. Right, so we are now here at Midfield Raceway for a 5 lap race. Let's do this. Uh, I have a feeling this one's going to be much, much shorter because, again, Midfield Raceway is a short track. We've got a fairly quick bike, and it takes around about a minute 20 per lap. So this will be around about that six-minute mark from the last ones. 
So at least there's a fairly decent race. It's not like all of them are 20 minutes long. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. We've got 6.4 seconds to try and regain. I hope uh, in the future, like sort of the final championship or something, there's six bikes. That would be awesome to try and overtake a couple more. Adds an extra layer of challenge. I love a challenge as long as it's not impossible. So uh, the driving challenge, the uh, very well-known number 34 driving challenge in Gran Turismo 4, is impossible. It is very difficult. Ridiculously difficult. Nearly impossible with a controller. So yeah, challenges like that I don't like at all. Because it's just like, well, there's no fun. I'm just stressing myself out. The stuff that is fun is doing challenges that you know you can complete, but you've got to make sure you're on point. Ten minutes per attempt at a challenge is too long. You shouldn't be attempting a challenge for ten minutes per attempt, because that's going to take you weeks to do. I really am looking forward to GC7 though. Because if they can have the uh, track mastery as a thing in the game again, the uh, learning how to go around each track and perfecting it, that would be awesome to go through all of those. That would just be insane. Awesome. Here we go, nice. That is lap number two done. We're moving on to lap number three now. Here we go, number three. Get ready for our breaking zone here. Awesome. This bike isn't great. I don't like it because it's not quick enough. Awesome. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Nice. We're well over the halfway mark now. Awesome. Oh, careful, don't fall off. Thank you. Into sixth gear down the straight. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get ready for the braking zone. Perfect. Come on, nice. Awesome.
perfect. Look at that. On to the final lap now. Not long left. Awesome. Nice. Tires are barely even worn out this time. They're still in the green. That's how much longer the other track was compared to this. Nice. Nice. Coming up to the risky corner again for the final time. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, oh, oh. Not very good through there, though. But here we go. Coming across the line with a 1 minute 21.8. Not quite fast as lap, but very fast lap. And a 6 minutes 51 final time. Awesome. Are you going to continue or not? There we go. Awesome. 20 points in the championship so far. Right, we are here at Trial Mountain. This is probably going to be about an eight-minute race. Two Hondas, two Yamahas. Let's go. I put up two fingers then. Like, people can actually see that. But they can't. Like, there's a point in that. Right, round Trial Mountain, though, you've obviously got the uh, insane altitude changes on this track that are enough to throw you off your bike at any point. Awesome. Great start so far. Nice. Oh, not nice, not nice, not nice. Back under control. Yes, by the looks of it, we are. This is going to take about 10 minutes as well, again. Maybe a little bit shorter. Because uh, trial mount in the final section is actually very quick here. It looks like the same length, but actually the start is slow. And the end section is quite quick, quite fast. You can take a lot of momentum through these corners. But still, we are looking at uh, probably the entire race taking about nine minutes. So it's a very long race, don't get me wrong. Got very close to the ground through there. On to lap number two. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that was close. Nearly took the other bike out. That's how close it was. Oh, we were very
very close to falling off the bike there. Whoa, that would have hurt. That would have hurt big time. I was not expecting that. That scared the life out of me. You can obviously turn those cameras off, but uh, that's sort of taken away from the game because that's not how the game plays. Oh crap, that was horrendous. Did I just get a 10 second penalty for crashing? You are joking. You are joking. Four and a half seconds I now have to gain. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Let's get that time back. not be beaten by a stupid penalty. Come on, come on. Come on, Eileen. Go, go, go. Let's get some speed. Time for some real speed, bitch. Oh, we're wobbling. Good exit there. Oh, great. We fell over again. At least it wasn't a penalty this time. Because uh, last time we got a penalty. We sort of hit the wall too hard, but we were still upright. So it gave us a penalty and then knocked us over. Basically giving us a double penalty. I think the game should have done it. If you fall over, it should cancel the penalty if it's just given you one. But, uh, oh well. It hasn't ruined us completely, so it's fine for now. But obviously the bikes are always finished in the same order. There's no sort of, like, reverse grid or anything like that. Which is a shame, you sort of do have to win every race to win the championship. But it's very easy to win every race anyways. Awesome. Come on, let's do this. Get this done and dusted. We need to have like a theme tune for the channel. Just like the Wii Sports theme tune would be amazing. I love the Wii Sports theme tune. It's just such a classic song. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. And if you don't, you're weird. Very nice. Awesome. We've got one more lap left to go. Let's do this. Hopefully we don't have a cock up like we did before towards the end of the lap, because if we do on this lap, then it's game over. Awesome. Come on then. Let's show them who's boss. Nice. 
we have not got long left to go. Oh, slow this down. Nice. This is looking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Finish off this lap. Finish off this championship. Finish off this series. Oh! I nearly jinxed it from the start. But there we go. We crossed the line. Very nice. We got an 8 minutes 50 for that. Which is very close to my 8.45 that I predicted. Very, very close. But there we go. And there we go. Got some riding gear. Very nice. A helmet. Again. Do we not get anything else after this point? Is it just helmets? And there we go. We got a... Whoa, what is that? You've acquired special equipment and... What? What? That looks insane. Wow. That looks amazing. And we got ourselves a special racing number as well. Nice. I'll equip that now. But there we go. That is the 80s Hero Series done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a